Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to create a PDF file using a third-party DLL called iText Sharp with your Visual Basic Windows Form application. And I have also shown you how to create a paragraph in the PDF file and how to create a new page in the PDF file. So if you have uh, some doubts and you don't know how I created the PDF file, then just watch the last video. And this is the code we have written last time. Now in this video, I want to show you how to add a list to your iText Sharp PDF file using your Visual Basic Windows Form application. So basically, I'm going to use the same code to create the document. But in this document, I am going to uh, add a list. So let's see how can we do it. But first of all, let's enclose our uh, code in a try catch block so that if any error occurs it can catch the exception so at the top of my button click event i will write try and i will press enter and this will make a try catch block and i will copy the all the code i have written last time and i will paste it in the try block you can what you can also do is you can give a finally clause in your try catch block and you can close this document in the finally so finally when your try catch try code is executed then this will uh, be called and your document will be closed okay so this also you can do but i will give all in the try block itself my close of my document and in the catch block I'm going to show the exception so I will say message box dot show and I'm going to show the exception so I will say ex dot message okay so this will show any exception if any exception occurs now I am going to create only one page so I will delete this code which I have written for creating the new page and this is my code for making a paragraph in a PDF file now I want to add a list in this so I will go below this uh, line where I have written PDF doc dot add a new paragraph which is which says hello world and just below this I will create a list so in here I will just first of all copy and paste my code this is the code to create the list and I, now I will explain what this code is doing in this code I have declared a variable called list as a object of a class list from your iText sharp class okay and then I in the bracket I have passed the argument which kind of list this is so I will say, copy this list dot unordered this unordered can be changed with number of type of list for example alphabetical list numerical ordered unordered uppercase these are all the options you can choose but for now I'm choosing unordered list okay so this is the list and in the second line I'm providing the indent so let's just comment this line for now and I will show you what this indent is doing afterwards and then I will just copy my list object dot add and I will add a new list item in this list so I will say new list item and just in the bracket just pass whatever list item you want to give for example one and in this same way I'm going to add some more item in the list so just write list dot add and whatever item you have I have added five, four more item to my list which are two three four five so I have the list of one two three four five which is an unordered list right and then I create a paragraph which can be the title of your list so just write or just copy this pdf doc object dot add 
and just add a new paragraph so just write new paragraph and inside this write the title of your list and then after this just add the list itself so just write pdf doc dot add list which is your this list now when I run the program and when I click this create PDF it is created in my project folder if you remember last time right so project folder bin debug and this is my PDF file so I will open this and you see here a list is created which is an unordered list and which contains the item 1 2 3 4 5 now every time you run your program for example just I click this create PDF you need to close this PDF otherwise this will show an error so right now for example my PDF is opened and I'm trying to create a PDF which is open in my Acrobat reader right so I click this button will show an error you see this is the error message which is coming from try catch block and it's showing the message that the process cannot be uh, cannot be ex cannot be processed because this is used by another process right and once you close your PDF file and once again you create PDF then it will not show any error so you just remember that whenever you are creating the PDF your PDF should be closed right so this is a small tip now suppose we want to add a indent to our list indent is just like the spaces just like this so it's one indent two indent just like this and uh, the unit of indent is F so I'm providing 30 F indent to the left left is this side okay so this is the indent part okay now when I run the program once again and I create the PDF and I open the PDF once again you can see we have an indent in our list which is this part of the list item so in this way you can give the indent to your list okay now what I am going to do is I am going to add one more list which is of a kind Roman list so this is a normal list and you can add different type of list with in your PDF file so this time I am going to add a Roman list right so just below my when I, where I have ended adding the list and above my PDF docs.close I will copy and paste the Roman list code here so this is the Roman list code so we have once again declared a variable of class Roman list so just write dim Roman list as new Roman list and in the bracket just write true comma 20 and then just copy this roman list variable and once again we are going to provide the indent so just write roman list dot indent left so it will provide the indent to the left is equal to 30 f whatever you can play with this unit to give the indent and then i have simply added the new items to my list like this like i have done for my last list right and then in the paragraph I have given a new title to my list which is a Roman list and then I have added the Roman list itself to my document so this is a code for creating a Roman list and once again I will run my program and I will click create list and once again when I open this you see there is a Roman list Roman list means these list items are in Roman case right one two three four five okay now suppose you want to add one list inside other list this can also be done so for example you want to add 
this normal unordered list in your Roman list what you can do is you can just delete the, or not delete but comment this title of this list first so I will just comment this so this is the title because we are we are going to uh, insert this normal list inside this uh, Roman list so I have uh, commented out the title and I will copy the title of the list and add to the instead of fifth item I'll add list here so just in the Roman list what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the title of my list and and in the next line I will copy this code once again and paste it down and I will copy the list variable we have created which is list itself and in here I will paste this list variable so what this code will do is it will create a list of Roman list and inside this list we have another list which is nested list which is of kind or unordered list so let's see what is the result of this kind of list create document and I will open my simple PDF once again and you can see here I have the Roman list and inside my Roman list I have my normal list so to make it more clear I'm not going to add my list in here inside my document but I will just show the Roman list and I will just cut this and I will add it after the second item so if you want just copy this code and once again when I run the program create document it's already open so I will need to close it once again click and I will open my document and now you can understand better so after, after my second Roman list item, I am inserting the third third item which is a list. Okay, so you can make a nested list also. So in this way you can make list with your iTech Sharp DLL and your Visual Basic Windows Form application project. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.